In today's business, you have to think on your feet. Changes in technologies and world markets are radically changing everything. Featherlight is an Aurora-based company who are well known for their ladders since they started business in 1949. And like many North American manufacturers, the past five years were full of pressure from foreign competition. The writing was on the wall, something had to change. The irony is, ladders have remained the same for a long time. Ladders have uh, been around since, uh, since biblical times and they really haven't changed uh, much. We've, we've always had a step ladder and an extension ladder. There are only a couple things that really change over the years, and that is the materials of construction and uh, the degree of automation that can be applied to the manufacturing process in order to uh, keep the costs of manufacturing under control. What's changed in ladders was the race to become stronger and lighter. This was achieved through new aluminums and fiberglass, but these new composites are available worldwide. Featherlight was faced with foreign products valued at 40% less in price. Most of the competition closed shop or moved overseas. Featherlight decided to stick it out and took a closer look at how they manufacture their product. With respect to um, manufacturing technology, nothing has much changed in this business in uh, 30 or 40 years probably until the last one or two years. And in that period, we have made uh, substantial improvements in the technology associated with, with assembly of ladders. And it all has to do uh, basically with the, the fact that uh, about five years ago, we found that we had to reinvent ourselves to remain as a supplier to our home market that was um, under attack from offshore products. And, uh, you know, you have to do a lot of soul searching and determine whether you really want to remain in business. And if you do, and you want to compete, then you have to find what is the specific um, thing that you can bring to the party different than anybody else that would allow you to not only stay in business, but in order to ensure that you could actually produce a product in North America cheaper than what a product could be produced in China, for instance, and landed in Canada. And uh, in our case, we spent 18 months developing new assembly uh, technology for our fiberglass step ladder project. That technology is, is unique in the world, and it allows us to undertake or accept a, a new credo, and that credo, uh, and, and it's being applied across our plant, is to source globally and assemble locally. And, the f and what we're doing effectively is outsourcing as much of the uh, non-value-added uh, assembly operations as we can to wherever we can, whether it be China or Mexico or India, and then concentrate on doing the design and the final assembly uh, here in this plant. And our operations have been uh, geared, geared towards doing very flexible one unit at a time assembly and uh, with a tremendous productivity increase. In fact, on, on this assembly equipment, we've uh, noticed upward of a 50% uh, productivity increase. Finding your niche in the marketplace is key to success. Featherlight is another local manufacturer who has proven we can succeed in a global marketplace with some Canadian ingenuity. I think the story uh, that, I, that I like to take away from this is the fact that that uh, five years ago, we were almost sunk. We reacted in all the, uh, the usual ways, uh, out of fear and anger and frustration. And uh, after we put our heads together, we found out that uh, Canadians can do very well in the world market. And all it takes is uh, some confidence and some uh, good engineering and then uh, making sure you have the wherewithal to stick to it and get it done. Big Fish Video Productions.